Danella Huff, a nurse, felt the heartache of the young woman who was crying. Can I hold my baby for just a moment? Well, she knew the hospital rules there at St. Margaret's. They said that a mother giving up a baby for adoption should avoid bonding with the child. This young woman was breaking her heart, so she decided to break the rules, and she let her hold the baby. She watched as the young woman covered the baby's forehead with kisses and said tenderly, I will love you forever. That was a scene that she would hold in her mind forever. 20 years later, Danella was having her own issues with a daughter. Her daughter was 20 years old, Amanda. She came home from school and announced she was going to get married to a young man named Chad. Well, on the day that Danella met Chad, she was still a little skeptical as to whether or not this was the right fella for her daughter. He seemed to have a chip on his shoulder. She asked him where he was born, and he said, I was born here in Montgomery at Jackson Hospital, but my mother gave me away the night I was born. Danella thought, wait a minute. She said, this kid has got a resentment. She said, you need to know that a young mother suffers such sacrifice and she feels such love when she gives up a baby for adoption. Well, the wedding took place and after the wedding, Amanda thought, why don't you find out about your birth mother? Now that you're 21, you can get the records, she said to Chad. And Danella was sitting there at the kitchen table the day that Chad opened the envelope. She watched his eyes narrow as he looked at his mother's name and then watched his eyes widen when he read that he was not born at Jackson Hospital, but at St. Margaret's Hospital. And in that instant, Danella knew that Chad was that very baby that she'd once watched a young mother cover with kisses. This was an incredible God wink for Chad. But for Danella, this was a God wink of peace. Can't God winks be tear jerkers in our lives sometimes?